kid, there was only one comic book I wanted to see turned into a film. That's right, Spider-Man and Batman. But as I grew a little bit older, I realised about licences, so it probably was never going to happen. So as a slightly older kid, there was only one comic book I wanted to see turned into a film. Our story starts in 2007 whilst watching I Am Legend, looking on the screen and thinking, hold on, that's the Batman and Superman logo together. Are we finally going to get the epic fight we've always wanted to see? And then only nine years later... Epic disappointment. When this film first came out, I really wanted to see it. Now, at the time, I was working in Cornwall and I didn't drive, and the nearest cinema was 40 miles away. So I took two bus journeys and a taxi... And I finally got there to sit down in a big tin shed and watch Batman v Superman. Nine years I'd waited. Nine years to be utterly disappointed. But don't worry. The sun's given it five out of five. It must be good, right? Also, there's a really weird dream sequence where for some reason Batman's in the desert and Superman's like a god and he's trying to kill him. And he's wearing a coat. He's wearing a coat over his cape in the desert. It's just not right, is it? Why would you need a coat in the desert? And also, why would you need to wear a coat if you have a cape and you are Batman? One other really odd thing about this film is Lex Luthor. The character is played like he's the Joker until the end of the film where you see him with a shaved head. That's right, baldness. The ultimate supervillain. One other thing you might notice is it follows the story of Death of Superman, which is a comic book from the 90s, and uh, you can probably guess what happens because of the title. Here's an idea, film people. Just make that. Make that into a movie. It's perfect. Just make that. Just make Death of Superman. Stop putting all this weird stuff in that makes no sense. Make that. Just make that. And also, Doomsday looks like Mr. Potato Head on acid. So, what is my final review? I give it two bats out of five for making me wait nine years. Martha!